The Virtual Patient System is a Web 2.0 interactive software application designed to provide a complete e-learning and e-assessment environment for any medical learning institution. It enables teaching, practice, and competence assessment of medical students' skills in patient evaluation. The VP system is fully interactive and conversational based on a human-machine interface, which mimics a normal dialogue between doctor and patient. In this demo, you'll see how it simulates someone like me coming in for treatment. Let's jump right in. You start out by logging in here. Your username will help an instructor monitor your progress. Next, you'll see a list of clinical cases, or virtual patients. You choose a case and begin. Now this first screen presents my basic symptoms and clinical data right here. You can review more details about me by clicking on the eye icon over here. And here's that extended data. You start the anamnesis process by simply talking to me using natural human language. The VP system analyzes your question and leverages an incredible understanding of synonyms, common phrases, alternate medical terms, and grammar to respond, again in natural language, to verify your question's intent. This lets me give you my answer, which appears along with the original question in the log area right here. As you can see, it's in natural language as well, as if you're talking to a real human patient. Repeat this procedure for additional questions. Oh, and at any stage, you can press the hold button to pause. The show results button over here will display the progress so far. The progress display lists all the required questions that you've asked, as well as those you haven't. Now that you've completed the anamnesis, it's time for my physical examination. You can listen to my heartbeat and indicate what you hear by selecting from this list. Just as you saw in the anamnesis stage, results are again displayed in the log area, here. Now you can listen to my lungs, again characterizing your observations by selecting from a list. You can perform additional physical examinations and the overall result is displayed at any time, choosing the choices that are either correct in green or incorrect in red. Next, the physical exam is followed by laboratory tests. You choose the relevant lab tests from a multi-choice table like this. The selected tests are displayed in the log area and can be expanded for more detail. Some tests are followed by a list of options where you'll indicate your conclusions. You'll perform additional lab tests on me if needed. The overall results are displayed at any time, again highlighting the correct answers in green and the incorrect ones in red. Now, my lab tests are followed by imaging tests. Select the imaging tests you'd like to perform from this multi-choice table. You'll see my x-ray results here on the screen, and you can investigate further using a list of assessments. Now you can review my ECG results, which you can investigate further using a list of assessments too. Next up, my CT results. You can continue with additional imaging tests, and the overall result is displayed at any time once again with the correct choices in green and the incorrect ones in red. Finally, it's time for the recommended patient treatment. You can apply the treatment and overall results are displayed at any time with the correct choices in green and the incorrect in red. The VP system can be used by a large number of students simultaneously with each treating several virtual patients. The exam results are available for review immediately. Each student receives a separate score for each case, as well as a total exam score. All the exam results are statistically analyzed, including calculation of examination factors like Cronbach's alpha. Well, I'm feeling much better. I hope this demo has illustrated how Virtual Patient provides the multifaceted, comprehensive tools that can help with e-learning, prior to or in parallel with examining real patients at bedside. For more information, visit the website at www virtual-patient.com.